Hey everyone, what's up? Newbie Snake here. How are you all doing today? This time we'll be doing the Black Awakening Orb mission that some of you have been having trouble with. So let's get started. Alright, the first time clearing this mission, you'll be getting the Black Orb. And here are the three special requirements. You will need to complete the battle within 80 turns. You need to complete the battle with a skill attack, meaning you cannot end your opponent's life with an auto attack or, you know, the punch. Thirdly, you need to achieve S rank rating. And as soon as you complete all three special requirements, you can achieve or you can obtain five ninja stones. And then every time you achieve S rank rating, you'll be getting 15,000 gold. And the drops are the same as all the previous uh, Awakening Orbs mission that I've covered so far. You have a chance to get the Monkey King, a chance to get the Secret Book of the Ninja World, a chance to get the Black Orb in this case, a chance to get uh, the blue crystals and a chance to get the uh, rock leaching material. And then let's take a look at the strategy button. All right, so this time you'll be fighting the first Hokage and the second Hokage. So let's take a look at Hashirama first. All right, so Hashirama is weak against fire type and he's strong against a lot of types, okay? As you guys can see, he's strong against water type Earth type, wind type, electric type, space time jutsuit, unique type, summoning type, gen jutsuit, secret type, sage type, no type, bakugan, renegan, ice type, flame or blaze type, lava type, boiling type, magnetic type, and dust type. So basically, he is pretty OP. He's immune. I mean, he's strong against all these types and he's totally immune to wood type so don't even try to use his own type against him because it will not work all right so here are the skills that he actually uses he uses the sage type to deal aoe damage and also a chance to you know have that gate uh status on you you know how he shoots out like four to five different red gates so you'll be gated for that one and then uh the two wood type techniques one is single target one's aoe and the aoe has a chance to paralyze your whole team and then there's this no type no no type is to buff um his teammates well basically his brother all right so let's take a look at second hokage he is weak against electric type and he's strong against earth type wind type wood type unique type summoning type again jutsuits um secret type sage type no type Bakugan, Renegan, Ice type, Flame or Blaze type, Lava type, Boiling type, Magnetic type, and Dust type. And he's totally immune to Space Time Jutsu and Water Jutsu. So again, don't use his type against him. It will not work because he's the master at it, right? All right, so he uses Weapon type to deal AoE damage and recover himself or maybe uh, both him and his brother. And also he uses no type to buff himself and he uses space time jutsu to deal single target enemy. So one thing you guys will need to notice is that after you have killed uh, either Hashirama or second Hokage, one of them will replenish their HP to max. All right. Uh, actually, so let's say you are just focusing on uh, Hashirama. If he dies or yeah, his HP goes below one, he will start healing both. Uh, teammates all right so once one person dies both gets healed so that's how it works but not like they don't revive okay not like the Tsunade or or um, Jiraiya from the red type red orbs mission okay so this time um, my strategy well let's bring Guy as well since we actually see him but actually what I recommend doing is instead of using guy i'd recommend using another sasuke uh, so maybe i'll either switch out the guy or switch uh, yeah maybe switch out the guy and get a sasuke or switch out the guy and get a healer i don't know yet uh we'll see i actually want to try to see if i can rush them down but anyways the reason why i'm using sasuke this time is because if you guys have noticed out of all the things they're immune or i mean uh, um strong against the only thing they're not strong against is shut in gun guys so this time if you guys have tons of sasuke's this is the time for him to shine all right for those of you who are sasuke fans you know you guys can use him all right uh yeah basically he his uh damage will do the regular damage to them so i have my kcm naruto with me to deal the flat damage to just overcome whatever they have and then I have the new Sasuke right here. 
And then I also have my event Sasuke. And I also use a guide so that I can one shot them to make things faster. I can one shot the second Hokage or the first Hokage, then make them heal. And then I'll one shot again with the other one. And then I'll have three of my characters left to deal with one of them. Okay, so that's, I guess, my strategy because I kind of want to do things fast, right? Again, if you guys don't have two guys, just bring one guy, either yourself or your friends. Or, yeah, just use Sasuke's. Or, or fire type or electric type because Hashirama is afraid of fire and and uh, the second Hokage is afraid of electric all right but you have to bring like guys who are really strong like with strong electric skills and strong fire type skills but again my Obito I just achieved I just obtained him like today or yesterday yesterday I believe but I he's still level one so I don't have a fire type unit to use so here we go we're gonna use second skill for my Naruto second skill for my guy and second skill for this Sasuke, second skill for Guy, and hopefully second Hokage doesn't kill me off right away, and second skill for all of them. Basically, I'm just going to buff. Oh, please don't kill me. Yes, I dodged it. So that was a really risky one. Again, pay attention to the action bar. If they're about to attack you, maybe it's wise to just defend instead of you know using a skill, because once you use a use skill, uh, your HP goes down by half, and they could probably one-shot you. But then I took the chance. Now both my guys are in a defense stance right now. So that's good. So I'm just going to attack. And oh shoot. What's going to happen? Oh man. Okay. One of my guys is paralyzed. So I can't use any skills. Actually interesting. I thought he's paralyzed. Why can he still use it? Okay. I, I don't know if that's a glitch or not. Because if you guys notice. Or if you, you guys can actually rewind and see. Basically, before he attacks, my guy reached his action bar, so I could actually choose the skill or defend. But I didn't choose anything until after he uses his skill, right? So I guess now I can actually choose it. So I'm just going to kill off Hashirama first. Let's see if that works. Maybe it doesn't because, you know, it'll just cancel out. But I'll use the second guy to do it. And then shut in gun, I'll attack, sec I'll attack the first Okai. Yeah, that guy died. So I guess, you know, it's useless to bring two. Or if you take, you know, if you try to gamble and if it works, then great. If it doesn't, then bring someone who can consistently deal damage instead of what I'm doing right now. But again, I really want to see if I can just rush this down, right? So I save time so I can grind for more times. Again, because you're not guaranteed the six stars orb, right, all the time. But right there, first Okage is almost dead. Uh, he's about to die right now, I believe. Yep, he just died. And we just have to worry about second Hokage. So I guess it's not so bad after all, right? All right, here we go. That shouldn't kill anyone except Guy. Yep. It was calculated. Okay, I'm just going to use skill 2 for my Naruto so I can use skill number 1 later on. But he probably will die already because... Sasuke is really strong. GG. So within what, 27 turns? Let's see, 27 or 28? 26. 26 turns, we're done. So that's how I defeat the Black Orb Awakening uh, mission. Black Awakening Orbs mission. Yeah, so that's it. And if you guys, again, have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more quality content. And as always, I'll see you all at my next video. Take care and bye now.